So in today's home exercise tutorial, we're going to go over part two of the home exercises for preventing falls and, and improving your balance. So as I had mentioned in the previous video, today we're going to talk about um, turn steps, exercises you can do to make turning a little bit easier, uh, and also make walking on uneven terrain a little bit easier. So the first exercise we're going to work on is stepping out to the side. Now we did this in the last video, but we kept our hips square to the front. Now we're actually going to rotate the body. So you're going to step out to the side and back. Step out to the side and back. Step out to the side and back. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Stepping out to the side and back. Stepping out to the side and back in, and stepping out to the side and back in. We're going to do the same thing, opening the hips up to the side, but now we're going to step behind and back. You can see this exercise is a little bit different from the previous one because we kept our hips square to the front, so we're still stepping behind, only this time we're opening our hips up to the side. So you're opening up to the side. Open those hips up to the side and back, and then the same thing to the other side. Again, turning can be scary for a few reasons. One is, is because your vision is moving, your head is moving, which changes what you're looking at. Um, but the other reason is, is that just getting your hips in some of these positions can be a little bit awkward or can be a little bit different and not feel the same. So just helps to kind of get those hips used to opening up and also shifting your weight. So rotating those hips, but then again, also shifting your weight. All right, so we stepped to the side, just to review, and then we stepped behind, just for further review on that. And now we're going to step across the front. So see, now we're rotating the hips. In the previous one, we kept everything to the front. Previous exercise in the first video, this one we're going to actually turn our hips to the side. So you're actually bringing that foot around. Just like that. And same thing on the other side. You're just going to bring that foot around and back. Bring that foot around and back and then bring that foot around and back. So for this next exercise, we're going to use a piece of balance foam. You can buy this on Amazon. I'll also have a link in the description on where you can purchase this. But this is a great piece of material to do your balance exercises on because it's a little bit soft and it just forces more of your, it challenges your balance system just a little bit more. So for this exercise, you're just going to stand with your feet side by side, arms across your chest, you're just going to rotate, turn your head side to side. Then you're going to look up and down. And then you're going to take your hands and clasp them together and make like a figure eight. You can see my feet are really close together. If that's a little bit too hard or you can't maintain your balance, you can start with them shoulder width apart and do the same thing. A little bit of head and eye movement side to side, up and down, and then the figure eights. And then once it gets easy, you can move your feet together so that they're touching. Same thing, side to side, up and down. All that's really easy, and you make a big figure eight. The next foot position or the next progression 
to make this a little more challenging is to have your feet staggered. So they're still side by side, there's just one foot in front of the other, and do the same thing. Side to side, up and down. And then the big figure eight. Really rotating that trunk. will force your legs to have to work a little bit harder to maintain that balance. And then you switch and stagger them the other way. Same thing, side to side. Up and down. And the big figure eight. Okay, that's a sure way to get you a little bit more comfortable on outdoor terrain. Uh, that soft surface makes it a little bit more similar to uneven terrain or unfamiliar terrain. Your body has to work a little bit harder to maintain that balance. The head movement um, and that move, changing that gaze, that's very similar as well to what we naturally do outside. So that's why that's a great activity to do um, in order to get, give you more confidence when you're walking outside. So I hope those exercises were helpful. If you want to continue to receive these exercises, please subscribe to my channel to get notifications on when I post new exercises. And I look forward to sharing more with you guys again.